uh, Terry. So this sh should be, again, like we, we've talked about explosiveness before. Uh, I feel like Terry Bogart definitely uh, exemplifies explosiveness, you know, with how this character, uh, you know, functions, you know, especially with uh, Go Meter being a huge factor in the kit here. So we'll see how it, it shakes out here. I actually think Link uh, actually won't do too bad in this matchup. No, I don't either. I think having a sword and projectiles certainly welcome additions against Terry, but this character can still destroy you on hit so easily, especially against yep. bigger bodies and heavier characters that don't really fall out of his stuff so easily. Link, certainly in that category. Yep, and again, you're going to see, you know, the simple stuff, uh, you know, jab, jab power dunk is uh, so potent for racking up damage. And again, like you mentioned, things like Power Geyser and Buster Wolf becoming factors in the in the late percent end game. Uh, you know, it could definitely prove to be a, a tough road for uh, a tough road for Bernie. But you know, uh, so far it's not looking you know, terrible for him. No, this is actually a little bit in Paco's favor. So um, starting off at least, and we see the upbeat out of shield adding a lot of damage here. Yup. Oh, auto cancel power dunk. Okay. Just throws that one out, pokes Link in the back of the head through his shield, and down smash enough to do it. Wow. Looked like Bernie wanted to just poke through the ledge and, and catch him with the back hit of up B, but no such luck. Yeah, and now uh, Paco in a pretty uh, solid position here. Up one stock and has go meter uh, to play with, but uh, Bernie continuing uh, to lurk right here. One solid hit away from uh, evening things up. The hero spin will not be enough to do it, though. Oh no. It's always so scary when Link is playing around with the bomb at the ledge, but you know what else is scary is Terry with that full meter. Ooh, able to tech and hang on. Wow, no punish from Bernie there, using the opportunity to set up rather than just hitting him. Either way, Paco does lose his first stock here without much of a lead either. So if Bernie gets back in the game right now, we can see things start to turn around. Yeah, it, it's very rare when you see you know, an opponent not get a kill to 196. Oh! That was insane. Forget everything I was about to say. That was nuts. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, this is crazy. I mean, both of these guys are putting on a great show, but especially the tech that Bernie is unveiling with his link. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun to watch. As you see right there, like you mentioned, back hit at the boomerang combos. Definitely an endorphin uh, machine uh, for sure. Uh, see, once again, go meter uh, on the play right here, but the high power dunk's going to get caught by the forward air. Uh, still not going to be enough to kill just yet, though. Okay. Oh, my God. Burn Knuckles so early right there. I didn't even see what percent he died at. And I don't think I ever will. <laughs> Forward smash in response, though. All right. It is back to dead even once more between Bernie and Paco. This set certainly delivering on the buildup that we gave it. Yeah, no, 100%. Uh, you see right here, both players scrapping up close. Uh, you know, again, uh, the FGC characters up close just do so much damage, especially Terry. Again, jab, jab, power dunk, so simple, but so potent of a, you know, of a damage machine. Yeah, they really made it like, oh, can you do a show you input? All right, well, then you're clearly very skilled and you deserve to destroy your opponent. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely the weirdest office flow chart uh, of all time. Oh, no oh, way. Oh, Bernie, the top scene in Pool D down a game against Paco's Terry. Wow, this is to make it into top 32 winners, folks. So, I mean, keep your eyes peeled. We might have a monster on the rise in the form of Paco. Um, I believe that makes him the... Uh, oh, okay, I see. He's actually the eighth seed in this pool, yep. And then uh, he's playing into top 32. Uh, wow, all right. That is wow. pretty damn impressive. No, no surprise, really, to see a strong Terry player coming from Mexico. I saw another good Terry in pool C. Um, if you guys didn't know, King of Fighters is actually massively popular in Mexico. It's like yeah. huge in arcade culture down there. Um, and it's it's very like iconic in terms of the games that you know people in like our generation grew up playing. So um, if you weren't that excited when Terry was announced for Smash, I guarantee you someone in Mexico was to make up for you. Um, yep, and absolutely. yeah, I'm kind of surprised that uh, we don't see a little bit more of this character elsewhere in the world. Yeah, and just to bring it up, uh, when uh, when Bernie got hit by that Nair before the Bernie Knuckle killed him, he got hit at like 60. That move, he got absolutely obliterated. 
So, you know, Terry, again, uh, one of the, the scarier aspects of this character is just how strong they are, you know, you know, despite their setbacks like we saw. So let's see if Paco can pull off, again, uh, a, the big upset on the number one seed in this pool here. Uh, Zef D is, is a choice for game two. Yep, yep. Also worth mentioning is that some of the best KOF players in the world, several of the best KOF players in the world have come from Mexico. So it's not just like, you know, yep. something they do for fun in arcades. Like, they have the results to back it up. Yep, very rich in, in KOF uh, culture is Mexico. If you're just bring it up. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna have Bernie's link off stage, but it was all a ruse. As we see the backwards of B, <laughs> didn't catch Paco in game one. Maybe he just didn't think Bernie was gonna try for it again, but ends up costing him his life. We'll see how much longer this goes on for a while. Bernie looking for the two piece down tilt into up B. That is the wrong link, sir. Uh, that's actually Junior that gets out. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. Nonetheless, Ooh. though, still trying to, to get this stock off, but uh, Bernie definitely uh, kicking it up to, uh, you know, to 11 right now. Oh, goodness. Oh, jab, jab, power dunk. Not quite enough to seal the deal, though. We're going to see Bernie hanging on just a little bit longer. This time, oh, wow, uses the bomb jump to get himself back. Very flashy, very risky, too. If Paco was turned the other way with that up smash, that was not going to be so impressive. No, absolutely not. But again, still living to tell the tale about it. 9% away from Go Meter potentially becoming a factor here. So, you know, a, a pretty decent situation, I'd say, for, for Paco. You know, uh, going to be getting his comeback uh, mechanic early uh, on Bernie's second stop. At least help aiding in this comeback. Keeps getting hit by these stray bombs, though. Unable to make it back to the stage. Wow. Bounces off for that one. Uncharged up B. Actually has a little bit of a snap at the end of it. So you can be a bit lenient with the recovery, but it's not going to matter. Bernie seals the deal on the edge guard. Takes only a down throw from the respawn invincibility. Not the situation you want to be in if you're Paco. And Terry's struggling to rush down the fortress that is Link. But I see right there, one opening is a ton of damage for him. Yeah, we could be potentially staring down the barrel of a game three here, Max. Uh, but again, uh, we've I've seen crazier things happen today. So, you know, uh, definitely you can't count Paco just yet. Oh, the Z drops and the Nairs, keeping it all together right there. Making sure to keep that very important combo tool close to Link. Bernie needs to do a little bit more to extend this lead, though. I feel like Paco's hot on his trail. Yeah, no, uh, 100%. It definitely feels like an instance of, uh, you know, Bernie maybe playing, uh, you know, not to lose. Or right. uh, one of those situations. But still coming up very close and, again, going out to, to hit Terry Bogard. Where it hurts the most, and that's, uh, you know, in that recovery without a resource, so. Oh, God. <laughs> wow, the up B stuffing that jump out as he's rising. One thing about the fighting game characters is that they don't jump very high, so you can see an anti-air like that work out. Ooh, and an air dodge gone awry. Cost Paco his life, and cost us all a game three now. We are not off the hook. This is the last match of the night, by the way, guys, so stay tuned. You don't want to miss the end of this one. This will determine our last qualifier for top 32 out of the deep pool we've already got raider who took it over law 2-1 pineda who took it two over uh tejuino and geo who took it two over oli it's gonna be bernie or paco joining them one more match to find out yeah and like we've uh, been mentioning before bernie is the top seed in this pool so paco looking to uh, stage a, a pretty big upset here you know seating wise whoa it's staged bro Ah, <laughs> uh, say it ain't so. Whatever happened to the good old days of honest competition? Uh-oh. So, leak the script. Gotta go. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Stream's canceled. Yeah. <laughs> good night, everybody. Alrighty. Game three is set, and we're getting the color counter pick. Uh, again, gotta love it. Uh, not a big fan of the color green, but I think it looks good on Terry. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this costume. Feels like a park ranger Terry or something, but... Um, <laughs> His jeans look like they have grass stains on them. It's like weird. Right, right. <laughs> Definitely got a John Deere tractor. <laughs> anyway, um, here we are on Battlefield with some very fitting music for the third and final game of this set and the final game of the night as well. Oh, looking for the returning boomerang into forward tilt. Definitely a classic for Link, but Terry going to be able to block just in time. And these guys taking... A uh, different approach to this game, or really no approach whatsoever, is they're sitting on opposite sides of the stage throwing projectiles, just looking to butter each other up, and then get the one good home run hit. Could have been up B Whoa. right there for Link, but instead it's going to be Terry's. The rising tackle coming in, some of that uh, upper body invincibility going to help him out. Now we've got Buster Wolf slash uh, Power Geyser online. Got to be very careful if you're Link, 
but instead you could just land a forward air. Bernie, off to a good start here in game three. Yeah, definitely got a little nervous when Bernie landed on that platform. I was definitely expecting a power geyser to come out mm. there, but does not matter though. The rising tackle will connect as uh, the last hit of the hero spin. Uh, gonna buy Bernie some time and more advantage shit here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Bernie's getting real greedy when it comes to some of these up Bs, just poking his head above the ledge, looking to aggressively challenge the edge guard. I mean, Paco punished him once at the very beginning of the set for it, but every time, every other spin attack has gone the way of Bernie. So I don't know, man. Um, might be like a long-term conditioning thing, and Paco's just saving it for the bitter end of this set. And trying to get on the board here. There we go. The up smash will connect. Uh, so that will be, you know... Uh, you know, Paco's first uh, stock on the board, and you know, 78%, definitely nothing that can't be made up, as you can see right there. Jab, jab, power dunk. He was going for broke right there. Oh my goodness. Oh, grabbed right out of the burn knuckle on the way back from the ledge. Taking the high road with an auto canceled power dunk. Very nice, right into Buster Wolf. Tons of damage, winning stage positioning as well. Were you looking for power guys are there? I don't know. I feel like that was a miss input on the forward smash. Yeah, that, I, I feel like that was most definitely miss input. But again, the auto cancel power oh! dunk. And oh, so much spaghetti. Oh my God. On uh, both of them, you can see their brains melting in real time. The fear factor setting in. You can't blame online for these inputs right now. This is all you. Ooh, okay, able to, I was gonna say, be able to get around the bomb. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. And if you're Paco, you're definitely kicking yourself after that, man. You had so many openings, so many legitimate chances to land one of your supers. They all ended up being botched inputs and now you die before you get to capitalize on your go meter. Yeah, uh, if you're Bernie, you're definitely bre you know breathing a little bit of a sigh of relief, but still 103 uh, is you know definitely not a comfortable percent right now as uh, you know, again, you has really been able to generate you know, any sort of huge ex uh, offense right here, except for right now. Wait a second. And you can't help but think that if Paco got that stock, he could have used the super again on the respawn, right? Build up some nice damage. Buster Wolf hitting for 30 plus. Power guys are hitting for almost 40. Oh, <laughs> you're nuts, my good sir. <laughs> I am once again asking you to get in the upbeat. <laughs> Bernie, not making it happen, but coming damn close and really laying the hurt on this last stock. Wow, he wants to end it in one way only. Yeah, he's, he's definitely uh, trying to upbeat his way into victory here. The back air will connect 96% max. You know, go meter only uh, uh, a stone throws away right now. You know, we could potentially see uh, a comeback or we could see an air edge guard into death and, you know, uh, there's a fill, uh, something something filibuster, but Bernie's gonna come out uh, uh, on top there in a epic game three set between these two. My goodness! Wow. All right, making it out of pools. If only the real Bernie won his primary, would have been looking at a much different world, Koopa. But uh, you know what, man? I will settle for this victory in Super yeah. Smash Brothers instead. It's gonna be Bernie with Link moving on to top 32 to join some really powerful players. Um, and I, I think that. Basically puts him in the fourth seed position for the entire tournament behind only the likes of Spargo, Chag, and Big Boss. Yeah. Very tough competition around here, but Bernie showing himself to be near the top of it. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, again, this, you know, the names that you recognize if you're like uh, a casual viewer of international tournaments might not stand out at you, but everybody that's competed today has been an absolute menace. It's uh, so much fun, like you said. And what a better way to end it out for us tonight, uh, you know, with that one. But before